guys, it's so great to be connecting with you again. And we just want to wish you a, a happy 2022 from Aflame Ministries. Uh, I know it's already February, but we're praying that it's going to be an awesome year. And I hope that your expectation is really high for what the Lord wants to do. I think he's going to do phenomenal things this year uh, as we just wait upon him. The verse that's I've really been speaking to me is, comes from Psalm 40, verse 6, where it says, um, It's not sacrifice that really moved my heart. Uh, burnt offerings, sin offerings, that's not what brings you joy. And when I read that the other day, I just thought, oh man, it's like God is speaking to me specifically and, and hopefully it's for some of you as well. Just saying that some of the things, some of the sacrifices, things you've laid down in the past is actually not what I'm asking now, you know. It's like it was great in a season, but that's not what's bringing you joy in this season. And then he goes on and he says, but, but when you open my ears and speak deeply to me, wow, wouldn't that be awesome? If God just opens our ears and speaks deeply to us in the season, that can only come when we're close to Him. That can only come from a place of deep intimacy, face-to-face uh, -face with the Lord, time with God. He says, when you do that, I become your willing servant, your prisoner of love for life. And that's such a phenomenal promise. And it's so real that when He speaks, like we lay down our lives easily. When He speaks, we sacrifice ourselves easily to Him. Because his words are so filled with life and power and beauty and glory. And my prayer is that all of us will listen this year, that our ear will be open and we'll be willing to change direction as he moves us. Because I know it's a year with rich destiny. And I feel it's a critical year to the body of Christ to align ourselves with the new season that he's moving us into. Uh, a season where he wants to do glorious things on the face of the earth, but it might look different. So may our ears be open in this season as he comes and just speaks and makes us his bond servants for life. Also, we're so excited about what the Lord did in the last three months of last year of 2021. Uh, we went for leadership training in Cape Town where uh, Yandisa Jamjam and Aviwe Mahopeyani, our pastors, uh, they went for, uh, for discipleship training, church planting training uh, with all nations and they learned about the Discovery Bible Study Method which is quite simple, simply about opening the Bible with a group of people, let them see in the Bible for themselves, and then go and share it with other people. So the idea is disciples that makes disciples that makes more disciples. And it's been a phenomenal turnaround in the villages. And we've started doing this in about seven to ten villages with great effect. And it's been incredible to see how the people are just learning about the Word of God. It's like a spiritual awakening in their hearts as they see for themselves what the Lord says in the Word. And also how the leaders are raising up other leaders to, to multiply the work and to keep doing it even when they are not around, which has been such a blessing to see. And we're so grateful for what the Lord is doing in that. Also, there's been something special happening among the youth. Uh, we see youth walking for kilometers to the church. And this is very unusual in the villages. It's something we've never seen in six years. And we're just so grateful that God is awakening the youth. And there's a pure hunger uh, for the word of the Lord and for the things of God and then. And we just want to ask you to keep on praying for them, that this hunger will not die out, that it will keep on moving and stirring in their hearts. Also, we've seen some amazing conversions over the last couple of months. We, we had two Sutu shepherds that's kind of outcast in the community there that came to church. They walked for kilometers. They were just so fed up with demonic oppression in their lives. And they finally came. They heard about us and they finally came to us after wandering for a couple of months to come. When they did, they gave their lives to the Lord. They removed all their witchcraft, paraphernalia, and they've been coming regularly and being discipled by some of our leaders. And um, also we had a guy that's a rather notorious criminal, I could say, in the, in the villages. Everybody's very afraid of him. And he actually just walked to church one day, gave his life to the Lord. And since then, he's been walking five kilometers every Sunday to church. And he's just wanting to change his life and learn more about Jesus. It is such an amazing thing to see that. Um, also, we had a celebration service at the end of January, and it was incredible as the Spirit of God started moving. And we saw from young children, youth, until mama is the age of 80, that started breaking out, praying in tongues for the first time in their lives as the Holy Spirit just baptized them. Isn't that glorious? That was so exciting. Also, Philemon and Corsi, as a young boy, we, 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 we took him into our home. Maurice discovered him in, in a in uh, Rafilwe and she started taking care of him as a family even before we had our own children uh, then our paths separated 
and he finally came back with his wife. They got married here in East London, and there are our base keepers now on the base, also helping with Bible study and helping the work along. And it's just such a wonderful story of God's plan and how things just come together to form this beautiful picture uh, in the Lord. Um, so yeah, we were so encouraged by these things, and we just wanted to update you and just say thank you for your support in that time. God did incredible things, and we're excited to see how this movement is multiplying and increasing and growing in the season that we are in. So we're very excited about 2022 as well. Uh, we felt like as a family that we're going to travel quite a lot this year. We're going to visit churches that we haven't been able to visit in South Africa and in America. So we're so excited about that. And please follow us on Facebook and follow the website to just get information about which cities we're going to be maybe near you. And we'll be doing lots of conferences, training initiatives, and also some, some crusade events later in the year, or that's the planning at least. Um, so we're very excited about that. Um, also, Brother David Hogan is going to be joining us in April. He's going to visit South Africa. So, yeah, check out the websites and just uh, you'll, we'll send the information out as soon as we have all of that in place. We're really excited about that. Um, also, we're going to be doing lots of leadership initiatives with our local leaders, um, invest in them, build into them just to strengthen them and keep encouraging them to doing the work that they're doing. And also, Jairo Shalele, our pastor from Zimbabwe, uh, who's been working with us for 10 years. We've planted three churches together. Uh, they're going to be joining us um, in South Africa. That's the plan. And uh, so we're really excited about that. As we know, that's really going to strengthen and solidify what's happening in the Eastern Cape at this point in time. Also, I'm busy uh, finalizing my first book, and it's probably going to be released within the next two or three months. Very excited about that. It's going to be about longevity in the kingdom. And we'll get the details out to you as soon as possible. And hopefully it's something uh, that's going to bless you guys. But we really hope that we see you somewhere in South Africa and that we get to catch up and just fellowship and just enjoy the Lord's presence together in this wonderful season that He's opening up for all of us. And we also just want to ask you guys to really pray with us. And if the Lord speaks to you to partner with us financially, that'll be phenomenal. Uh, there's so many needs always. But one thing specifically is regarding Jairus and his family to bring them to South Africa. Please, please pray for us as we need incredible favor with home affairs in South Africa and in Zimbabwe. There's so much red tape to get through and it's really a tedious and a hard process uh, to go through. But also we need about 20,000 Rand to make this happen for them. Uh, just with passports, traveling, um, you know, documentation that needs to be done. And any partnership in that would be greatly appreciated. And on a very personal note, we really want to ask you guys to just please pray for us as a family as well. Uh, we're really trusting the Lord to own our first house. We've never owned one since we've been married and we've moved around uh, countless times in the last years and we would just love a place where we can settle and just really uh, give a safe space to, to our family, our kids, uh, for them to grow up in. So uh, for that to happen, we need lots of miracles and lots of favor. And I want to ask you guys just to please keep that in your hearts as you pray for us and just trust in God to do something special in that area. We also just want to thank you so much for your encouragement, your, your kind words, your prayers, your financial support. Uh, it means the world to us, and without you guys, we can't do it. And once again, I pray that this will be a glorious year where our ears will be open. Man, we will become those living sacrifices, just living out the heart and the dream of our glorious King Jesus. What a joy that will be. So we bless you, and we really hope to see you guys soon. Bye-bye.